What's the purpose of a music nib? Um, so you're not the only one to ask me about that. I've gotten several other questions about music nibs. Um, I think a lot of the reason that the music nib conversation is coming up right now is because um, the noodlers and the ponset with the music nib is out, you know, in people's awareness. Um, Stephen Brown just posted a video on it. Um, Alex, who I don't know your last name, but Alex, who won the noodlers art contest and got a Naponset as a prize for that contest actually sent that pen to Stephen Brown to review and I believe they're going to be giving it away on Fountain Pen Geeks at some point uh, a couple months from now. So that's pretty cool and exciting. So we actually got to see how one of these pens writes and everything. So thank you Stephen for, for making that happen. I haven't even seen the pen myself yet in person. I remember when we first started carrying Noodler's products uh, three and a half years ago that Nathan was telling us about this pen. So this pen has literally been in the works for at least three and a half years. I wanna say he's gone through 50 or 60 different prototypes to come out with this nib. So his nib is a music, music flexible nib, <clears throat> which is kind of different than anything I've ever seen. Most music nibs though are not flexible. They're essentially just a, an italic nib with instead of one slit with two tines on the nib, it has two slits with three tines. So it allows for increased ink flow. So it's a very wet writing, very smooth flowing stub nib. Basically, that's what's going on. Um, that's that's what the like the true music nibs. Now there are other music nibs like Sailor's got a music nib on their 1911. I've got one of those. It's essentially just a stub nib. I don't really know why they call it music. Um, but uh, uh, the, essentially the point of the music nib originally was when you're writing music, um, you have, you know, the stems on your, you know, notations and then you have the, um, oh gosh, it's been, been a long time since I've studied music like that, but the little, the little fat parts, gosh, I feel like an idiot. I should have studied stuff ahead of time. Anyway, I, I actually am a musician, but I haven't, haven't notated any of that stuff in a really long time. But anyway, the notes themselves, you have kind of a broad stroke and then the lines you do, uh, the stems you do um, a thinner stroke. So it's, it's a basically a stub nib. So when you go on the down stroke, it's gonna be fat. And when you go on the cross stroke, it's gonna be thinner. So it's, uh, that's kind of the point of it. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, that's just, it's, it's kind of a glorified stub nib, really broad stub, that's about it.